Hi everyone, Bernard here uh, with a small special. I hope I don't do too many of these. Obviously, it's inevitable we do do these things. Unfortunately, uh, we've, we've done one or two in the past on the City Pass vlogs. This is just um, a little, very small tribute to to an ex-City player who only stayed with City for for one season back in 1976-77. But I've had a bit of relevance to me as well. I did actually see this guy play most of his games that he played for City because that was the sort of time when I was getting to see most City games. And it was the Mr Jimmy Conway, whose uh, his real full name was James Patrick Conway. He was born 10th of August 1946 and sadly passed away the day I'm recording this, 14th of February, Valentine's Day 2020. So uh, our condolences go to his uh, family and friends, obviously, of the... Uh, Jimmy Conway, as we as we knew him, he was an Irish international. A little bit about Jimmy: um, twenty caps for Ireland. I think he, he played in many positions. Obviously, he saw himself as a midfielder, and he played for the Irish team Bohemians and went to Fulham in nineteen sixty six. So, obviously, the World Cup time, and he stayed at Fulham for for ten years. And in nineteen seventy six, with Tony Buck was in charge at uh, Main Road. And he brought him to City for uh, £30,000 at the time. This is um, a little piece from one of the programmes. Great image of Jimmy there, signing for City. And this was a, a week before this, the season actually began, uh, this was. A um, couple of comments on here on the actual page. It says... Uh, Jimmy's pedigree is rich with 20 full international caps, three youth international honours, two appearances for the national schoolboy side and the unusual addition of three caps for the amateur international side obtained when he was a teenager with the League of Ireland Club Bohemians. And it does go on later. There's lots of things about what he likes to do and what his favourite position and how he, he works hard. Uh, and he said, they don't go on to say, Jimmy makes an intriguing analysis. I consider the cardinal sin in the game to give the ball away. I try after every match to count how many times I gave it away. And I am generally satisfied with my average. My pace is very important. The first 10 to 12 yards is where it really counts with me. And I work hard on this. And then he goes on to say, my power is my backside. <laughs> this is quite funny. And this is important when taking possession or shielding the ball. So you got you got to have a... Obviously, a big bum up on you for, uh, you know, to be a, a good blocking footballer. So uh, that was a great little little thing from there, wasn't it? He made his first appearance in 76-77 uh, in the game away against Leicester City. Uh, and he actually didn't feature in this because obviously he'd only signed he'd only signed um, a week before. So the, the team this obviously doesn't include Jimmy Conway. It doesn't include or any, any pen picture of him, but it does actually mention him. In, in the little write-up, it does mention that we'd, we'd signed Jimmy Conway himself and two other play, uh, three players all together, including Jimmy Conway, uh, a week before the season started. So we did get a little mention in that. And obviously the first City programme, I've had this one before in one of my blogs because it was one of the first colour you know, color covers for, that Manchester City produced. Uh, and obviously he is an image of him there with, uh, with Skip, with Tony Buck signing on as well so that was a, a good so a similar image to one we've just seen but obviously that was on his own this is with skip there or obviously it was the gaffer then wasn't he in 1976 signing on for uh for manchester city and he didn't play he made he went on to make 13 appearances in total so it, it wasn't you know but i'll tell you a little bit why in a, in a moment and but what was significant was the last game the last game we played for City was the last game of the season. Obviously, as you know, we finished runners-up to Liverpool this season. And we went to Coventry. I was at Coventry that day. And he actually scored in you know, our 1-0 win. He was the only scorer. Jimmy Conway actually scored in this game against uh, Coventry City. And the thing about it was, uh, there was no internet in those days, don't forget. There was no, you know, obviously there was no mobile phones. Uh, and we were told in the ground, we were told in the ground that Liverpool were, were either drawing or getting beat, which meant we'd, we'd win the league. So, I mean, this Jimmy Conway goal, could, you know, it was it was buoyant. We were absolutely, absolutely thrilled. I and mean, it wasn't long before we found out that Liverpool had actually won the last game. So they pipped us by a point to the league title. But just for a moment, Jimmy Conway had nearly won us the league. So, you know, that fantastic. It's a, it's a fantastic memory. 
Uh, again, he does get a mention, a little mention in the in the write up, but uh, again, there's no, there's no actual image of him in in that thing. And unusually enough, I mean, that was his last game for City, and but he did appear in the 1977-78 squad picture uh, there on the on the middle row. So he was actually there. So that his transfer away from City wasn't till quite late in the day, and even even the actual. Official yearbook, official handbook, Manchester City official handbook from that for 1977-78. Uh, does have Jimmy Conway in it, and it goes. Jim Conway was a surprise Manchester City signing at the outset of last season when manager Tony Buck paid second division Fulham thirty thousand pound for a man initially regarded as a temporary stand-in for the injured Colin Bell. However, Bell's continued absence throughout the campaign left Conway as a regular first team choice until a cracked shoulder bone in a game at Sunderland, pegged back his first division progress. So that's probably part and parcel why he didn't play so many games. On his return, the Irish international found that the galaxy of main role starlets had begun to state their claims for regular recognition. Yes, yeah, some of the younger players were coming through in the midfield departments, although he remained a valuable member of the first team squad. As we said, he did turn out for that last game against Coventry. Conway has won 20 Republic of Ireland caps, started his career with League of Ireland club Bohemians before moving to England with Fulham more than 10 years ago. He was a member of the Craven Cottage side that reached the 1975 FA Cup final. So he had an appearance at Wembley where Fulham sadly lost 2-0 to West Ham United. It did go on saying, now Conway now age 30, his league appearances total 310, which 11 of which belong to City. We ran down for 13 appearances, so he may have had a couple of cup games as well uh, within that. Uh, but that was it. He moved on. He was in. He moved on to Portland Timbers in in America. So that was obviously right at the start of the 77, 78 season. And he also, I thought he finished his career over there. And he actually was assistant manager for Portland Timbers as well, and managed a couple of uh, American teams. But um, not much more football wise. He's known about uh, Mr. Jimmy Conway after that. So. It was just nice to look back, wasn't it? I mean, it was quite significant. He wasn't he wasn't with us for long, was he? But um, he played quite a almost a, 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 you know, almost a memorable legendary role, wasn't it? Scoring that goal against Coventry, but it wasn't to be, was it? But uh, no, our, our condolences to everybody connected with uh, Jimmy Conway, or let's on it, his Sunday name, James Patrick Conway, and our condolences and best wishes go to all his friends and family. Anyway, that was a little, just a small tribute for myself and obviously the cities and vlogs and uh, hopefully we don't have too many more of these, but obviously it's, it's an inevitability, isn't it, that we're going to have these and it's nice to have those happy, happy memories of, not a bad footballer, was he? You know, playing for Fulham for 10 years. Fulham weren't a bad side, weren't a bad side in those days and obviously the City had seen enough to sign him as well and unfortunately injuries put paid perhaps to... Um, um, a longer run in the city side, and perhaps he would have stayed a little bit longer if he wasn't. He wasn't hurt, but he did come quite old. He was obviously thirty, so he was quite old into the game. So, uh, anyway, hope you enjoy, well. Hope you appreciate that little tribute to Mr. Jimmy Conway, and I say our condolences with his family. Anyway, thanks for watching this. Please join me again for another citizen vlog in the near future. Whatever you do want to do with the rest of your day, look after yourself, look after your friends, and more importantly, look after your family. And hopefully I'll see you all again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.